Hello. Today we are going to speak about the ways to express future. Do you know what will life be in the year 2050? Or who are you going to be when you grow up? Well, will is used to express future. And going to is used for future. And sometimes the present simple present continuous is used for future. So what's the difference? Let's first look at the difference between will and going to. In many cases you can use both. Will or going to. Remember, going to needs the verb to be. M is are plus going to. For example, the next World Cup will take place in Brazil. The next World Cup is going to take place in Brazil. In the future, people will watch more TV on the Internet. In the future, people are going to watch more TV on the Internet. In many other cases, it does matter whether you use will or going to. Will is for quick decisions, while going to is for past decisions. So how does it work? When you say, I will do it, you mean, I promise, I want to do it. Promise. Example. Don't worry, I'll be careful. I won't tell anyone your secret. I promise I will not tell him about the surprise party. When you are willing to do something, willing. I will translate the email to Mr. Graham. Will you make dinner? Will you help me move this heavy table? When you want or do not want to do something. Want, do not want. I will not do your task for you. I'm so tired. I'll get you some coffee. The phone is ringing. I'll get it. All of these examples are quick, instant decisions and you use will. Now going to. It expresses something completely different, nothing spontaneous or quick. These are the plans you've made in the past. Going to. Plans. Do you already know your plans for the summer? No, I don't know what I'm going to do. Plans. I'm going to teach you grammar and you are going to like it. My daughter is going to be an actress when she grows up. My son is going to begin medical school next year. Okay, that's the basic difference between will and going to. Quick decisions and past decisions. We also use going to and present continuous to express future intentions. Intentions. Namirinya. Do you have any plans, any intentions for this weekend? Okay, let me start. This weekend, I'm going to visit my parents. I'm going to help my dad in the garden. Now it's your turn. What about you and your family? I'll ask and you answer. What are you going to do this weekend? Are you going to watch a video with your friend? Yes, we are. 
No, we aren't. Is your sister going to go swimming? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are your parents visiting your grandparents? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Are you going to the sports center? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. These are plans or intentions of you and your family for this weekend. So, you use going to or present continuous. Well, you see, there are different ways to express future in English. The most common way to express future predictions, предсказания, is will. What will life be in the future? Let's think about the year 2050. Will the children study at home? Or will people live to 110? Professors of the University of California made some predictions about the year 2050. Listen, read, and pay attention to will for predictions. In 2050, children will not go to school. They will email their homework to the teachers and talk to them on a video phone. Medical science will improve and there won't be any illness. As a result, people will live much longer, maybe to 110. There will be a science laboratory on the moon. It will be possible to take holidays in space. But first, it may be very expensive. There won't be any cars. Instead, people will use trains, which go under the city. They will also use the helicopters to fly from one part of the city to another. We will control the weather. It will rain during the night and not during the day. It will never be too hot or too cold. Computers will understand voice instructions. For example, if you say good night, your computer will close the windows, turn off the TV and central heating, set your alarm clock and switch off all the lights. Let's hope there won't be any computer viruses in the future. Okay, those were predictions. Предсказания. Which tense did I use to tell you about the life in the year 2050? I used will to tell you about the life in the future. That is, the future simple tense. Remember, we use will for the affirmative. We use will not, won't for the negative. In questions, will comes before the subject. Example, children will go to school in 2050. Children will not go to school in 2050. Will children go to school in 2050? Well, you use will to make predictions about the future or for quick decisions. You can also use will for offers of help. Let's practice. Look at the pictures and offer help. The phone is ringing. 
Okay, I'll answer it. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll get you some fruit. It's hot here. Okay, I'll open the window. I'm thirsty. Okay, I'll get you a drink. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll buy you a sandwich. The bag is heavy. I'll carry it for you. I can't do my maths homework. I'll help you. Remember, you use will for quick decisions that we make at the time of speaking. Well, we use will for decisions made at the time of speaking. Like, if you say, let's have a picnic this weekend, I say, great idea, I'll buy the drinks and snacks. Well, know the present simple for future. Did you know that we use the present simple for the official statements and the timetables? Yes, when we talk about a timetable, we use the present simple tense because a timetable is true in the present and it's true in the future. Listen, read and repeat. The new shopping center opens on the 1st of March. The bus arrives at 6.55. The train for London leaves at 9 every day. Classes start on September the 10th. Well, I hope you follow along the rule. And now it's time to play the mix and match game. Read parts of the sentences and match them with the uses of will, going to, the present simple, and the present continuous. I'm going to the cinema tonight. I'll join you. It's Jane's birthday today. I'll call her. A quick decision. We are going to watch a football match tomorrow. I'm going to have lunch with my parents on Monday. A plan or an intention. You will marry an attractive, intelligent person. Personal TVs will be as small as watches. Prediction about the future. Hurry up! The train leaves in 10 minutes. The TV show starts tonight. Timetable. Okay, it's time to finish. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again. By the way, who are you going to invite to your next birthday? Who are you going to be when you grow up? Thank you and goodbye for now.